Cooper. I'm the playwright and the actor. Of the wonderful show, The Book of Mary, It Costs a Lot to Be Real. My name is Ted Swindley, and I have the pleasure of being the director of this wonderful show. The overarching summary or the theme of this show is how I struggled to grow up being the child of deaf parents, very shy, not speaking well, but learn to overcome that and find myself on the stage. I moved from Beaumont, Texas to Montrose, and I also discovered the gay rights movement. And I just happened to be here in the right place at the right time and had so many interesting experiences with the community, the gay community and the theater community. I want to remember those things because I think for an older audience, it's nostalgia. And for a younger audience, it's a cautionary tale. Her story is fascinating, but she also I think really shares her soul with the audience and her truth as she says that this book that she has written and the words that she has written are wonderful, as you say, cautionary tales as well as funny, warm, <laughs> crazy, crazy, <laughs> sad. We drive in a car, you know, we go all kinds of different places to different gay bars, we go everywhere. So I, I, I think it's a journey, really a journey. My thought process as I was writing the book of Mary, I've just always had people say to me, oh my gosh, you should write a book. Your life has been so fascinating. But when the pandemic hit and I was really stuck in my house, my boyfriend was very ill. I feared that he might die. And I always write in order to comfort myself. And once I started writing, it just all came out in a rush. And it was very therapeutic. I hope it's therapeutic for the audience, too. It's hard to describe this experience, to be really quite honest. We've known each other for 40 something, 40 something years. Probably. We yeah. started at Stages yes. when Stages yeah. was in its infancy. Um, and we did wonderful work there, but mm -hmm. this has been completely different. I mean, Mary came to me with this wonderful material and said, do you think there's anything here? <laughs> and boy, did we find out there was a lot here. So it's been, I, I would say we have bonded in a way mm -hmm. that- It's we, been a renaissance of our relationship. It has, it has. And, and a renaissance, I think, for us as her- As uh, artists too, as I artists, think. As artists, yes, absolutely. Yeah. The way the process of this workshop and coming to where we are now really began by the generosity of Trevor and Melinda of Dirt Dogs oh Theater. God, yes. I just happened to say, what are you doing with your off nights when your play is not running? And they said, well, do you want to use the space? I said, sure. I said, Mary, should we do it? <laughs> should we jump in? And we, and jump we did. In, and we <laughs> did. And we had this wonderful response to the workshop. But thanks to Melinda and Trevor, we were able to give it first breath. And now the relationship has grown to the point that we consider them partners to a degree and just extraordinary theater people. They've been know. wonderful. They really have. We had a really good response. We um, filled the house for four nights for just a reading, just me standing here reading. We had to add and, two performances. <laughs> yes, we did. Yeah. And then um, I attracted the generosity of a wonderful philanthropic woman, Sue Smith, and she said, what do you need? Tell me what you need to turn this into a real show. So um, here we are.